Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about browsing your content with the pack view in your Smart Gallery for Character Creator 3. So we talked about another uh, method of viewing your items in the Smart Gallery, the item view here. You can see the item view, uh, all the categories you can open. And this is uh, if you want to browse individually by item, but you can also browse by pack view here as well. And you can see there's a number of different uh, project packs. If you go into the various categories here, uh, packs for characters, packs for skins and morphs, uh, there's hair packs like the conforming hair volume one and two, uh, tune hair and all this stuff. Uh, various packs that you can purchase separately from the content store. Okay, so say for example, we have to a character pack right here and you can see we have this tune figures pack. If we want to see what's in this pack, we can simply just double click on it. And you can see here, there's a number of different uh, subcategories that will come up here. Uh, if you want to see all the content in the pack, you can go to the all uh, folder there. And under character, you can see there's character, uh, the CC avatars, there's a teeth, a uh, set of teeth there, and eyes. In addition, there's a number of different uh, skin templates as well here under uh, normal, okay, for various uh, scenarios. So uh, if you want, you can always just go uh, to each item on your uh, in your pack view, right click it, and select product info, and it'll show you the info for that uh, particular item. We can also go back, and if we want to uh, right click on the pack, we can see uh, product info for the entire pack. You can see there's 41 items in this pack here. And the author is yours truly, not my, not myself, obviously, Reillusion Iclone. And if you want, you can also right click on the uh, item or the pack uh, here and go to uh, view product page. And that'll open up the product page in your browser in the uh, Tune Figures pack, a really bright and colorful pack with a lot of different uh, cool things to uh, to explore. Again, if you've purchased it, you've probably already browsed the, uh, the pack uh, page, so we don't need to focus on that too much. I'm going to go through the quick process of installing a pack as well. So if I go over here to all, I'm going to search for a pack called Dark Siders. Okay, um, this is a uh, fantasy playset. We can just go ahead and double click it. And once we double click it, it'll begin to install. All right, and once the pack is finished installing, it will change from a gray thumbnail to a colored one. And if you want to see the items in the pack, you can either right click it and select view items. and It'll take you to this page or you can simply double click it once it's been uh, installed and it'll load up the items just the same here. Okay. So you can see in this particular pack, the reason I chose this one is because there's a lot of different categories here. If we go to cloth, you know, there's shirts, there's pants, there's uh, skirts, not really skirts, but kind of like uh, waist protectors, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, but all these various different items. And there's also a lot of accessories here as well. So a very comprehensive pack. And if you want to find out exactly like, you know, how many items are in the pack, just go back to uh, back here, right click and select product info. And again, you can see there is indeed 121 items in this pack. So quite a few items. Now, if I was to go about doing this tra the traditional way using the content manager, I'll switch over to the content manager here. I would go over here to our, our uh, cloth. And uh, again, I would have to search in various categories and I would find, uh, you know, under shirts, under shirts, I would find the, uh, you know, the place at dark cider here. So I'd find the shirts under here. I could go ahead and maybe apply this uh, dark chain mail to my character. And, uh, you know, there's other various shirts here as well. So if maybe he needs some pants since he looks a little bit weird with the chain mail and no pants. So we, then we would go down to, uh, you know, pants here under pants, a uh, subcategory place at uh, dark cider. And again, we would probably throw on some of these, uh, cuisse, I believe, I'm not sure that's, if that's a pronunciation, I'm not familiar with the terminology of, uh, medieval armor, but again, you know, throwing all this stuff on. But the main point is you would essentially have to go into all these various categories. And when it comes to like accessories and stuff, you know, that may be a little bit difficult uh, to find out where all the accessories are. Again, you'd have to go into accessory and under head, you can find there's nothing here or there's the dark star place right here. So again, uh, and torso, you know, there's stuff down here as well, all, all in like various uh, different areas that are kind of hard to keep track of. So the smart gallery has a huge advantage in that you can kind of basically uh, double click on the pack and everything will all be aggregated into this single area here. So I can just look at it right here. If I want to throw on some, uh, let's throw on maybe a little uh, placard, uh, not a female one. Let's throw on the male one uh, over top of uh, his uh, chain mail there just to give him a bit more protection. There we go. And then maybe uh, he'll need some shoes as well. So down here, shoes. And you can see the only shoes that are in here are the shoes that we've purchased from the pack. So again, just double click those and throw them on there. And maybe he needs some uh, mid midsection protection here as well. So we'll go to the skirt section and we'll just throw on this male uh, cloth here. Uh, this is a tacit, I believe is what you would call it, I guess. And then again, uh, you can see the nice brown tacit there. 
we can go over to uh, to our head accessories. Okay, and head accessories is where we're going to put put together the helmet. So we can go up to you know dark helmet. Just throw that dark helmet on there. And we probably want to take off the character's hair since that will get in the way. There'll be some mesh breakage for the hair. So all we got to do for that is select the hair and delete it. And the helmet may need to be a little slightly resized as well. So we can select the helmet, press the R hotkey, and just resize it slightly. Take it up here and move it further over here. There you go. Kind of looks like he's wearing an old style racing helmet at this point. So we need to throw on some other cool stuff. Let's throw on this side. Uh, um, horn thing, crown thing, I guess. All right, so that that looks pretty cool, and we can even throw on these uh, this face guard as well, which makes it look even cooler. Uh, and there's various other things you can throw on here, like horns and and uh, spikes and stuff like that. Again, uh, really depends on the type of uh, look you're going for. Maybe these uh, horns would look good on the side, or these wings would look good on the side. We don't want to overkill it, but uh, you know, okay, yeah, it looks fine. Pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, he may need some gloves as well, obviously. He just want to fight barehanded, so we'll throw on some gloves. And, uh, you know, just uh, load up your character with all sorts of various armor. But the point is you can find all this stuff in this single category here. And we can go over here to accessories and find some weapons. Let's give him a big dark axe there. And uh, that was looking pretty cool once he gets that axe in there. Well, it's a pretty massive axe. Okay, so stuff for the arm, stuff for the torso, stuff for the head. And again, you can find all this stuff in here. Uh, there's maybe these look cool. We'll throw those on there as well. Some arm protectors, and I'm I'm kind of mismatching the colors, but uh, you know, forgive me for that. But we're basically good to go with this character. So if we want to send this character into uh, iClone, we can uh, do that uh, really easily by uh, making sure, making sure the character is selected. It doesn't really matter what's selected actually. And then we can go over here to send character to iClone. All right, then the character will pop up in iClone in the standard T-Pose. And yes, the Smart Gallery is also supported in iClone as well. So once the Smart Gallery tab open, you can go over here and just search for, uh, search for a pack called Sword and Shield. Okay, and quickly apply that uh, Sword and Shield move to our character here. It's a jump motion. We can go ahead and give it a playback. But, ah, there you go. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. We'll just, uh, just get a replay of that. There you go. Okay. So that's really all there is to it, guys. Um, you can also use a smart gallery in iClone as well as Character Creator. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the advantages of using the uh, pack view in Character Creator. Again, all your items, all the stuff that you have is consolidated into one area. So very easy to access um, everything from the all category as well. You can just kind of browse through it and uh, add or take away all the stuff that you need. All right, so thanks so much for watching, everyone. Make sure you check out our other tutorials on the smart gallery. And I hope to see you in the next video.